Imagine a warship so powerful that it can launch planes at the speed of a bullet, detect enemy missiles from hundreds of miles away, and sustain a crew of over 4,500 sailors for months at sea. This is the Gerald R. Ford class aircraft carrier, the most advanced warship ever built by the United States Navy. In this video, we will explore the strategic implications of the Gerald R. Ford class carrier and how it is transforming naval warfare. Before we begin, we kindly ask that you consider liking our video and subscribing to our channel for future content. The Gerald R. Ford class carrier, also known as CVN-78, is the latest and most advanced class of aircraft carrier in the United States Navy. Named after the 38th President of the United States, it was commissioned in 2017 and is currently the flagship of the U.S. Navy's carrier fleet. With a total cost of $13 billion, it is also one of the most expensive warships ever built. In terms of size, the Gerald R. Ford class carrier measures 1,092 feet in length, 134 feet in width, and has a displacement of over 100,000 tons. It is powered by two nuclear reactors, which provide a top speed of over 30 knots and allow the carrier to operate for up to 20 years without refueling. The carrier is designed to accommodate over 4,500 sailors and can carry up to 90 aircraft, including F-35 stealth fighters, E.D. Hawkeye surveillance planes, and various helicopters. One of the key differences between the Gerald R. Ford class carrier and its predecessors is the use of advanced technology throughout the ship. For example, the carrier features a state-of-the-art electromagnetic aircraft launch system EMALS, which replaces the older steam catapults used on previous carriers. This system uses powerful electromagnets to accelerate planes down the flight deck and into the air, allowing for smoother and more efficient launches. It also reduces stress on the planes, which can extend their lifespan and reduce maintenance costs. Another unique feature of the Gerald R. Ford class carrier is its advanced radar systems, which include the NSPY-3 radar and the dual-band radar DBR. These systems provide 360-degree coverage around the ship and can detect and track enemy planes, missiles, and other threats from hundreds of miles away. The DBR is also capable of tracking and engaging targets in both high-frequency and low-frequency bands, which improves accuracy and reduces the risk of interference. The carrier is also equipped with next-generation weapons, including the evolved Sea Sparrow Missile SSM and the Rolling Airframe Missile Ram System. These weapons provide improved dare and missile defense capabilities and can engage targets at longer ranges than previous systems. The carrier also has a new close and weapons system CIWS, which is designed to defend against incoming missiles and small boats. In addition to these features, the Gerald R. Ford class carrier also has a number of other advanced technologies, such as an advanced arresting gear system AAG, which uses water turbines to slow down planes as they land on the carrier, and an advanced propulsion system which uses electric motors instead of traditional gears to increase efficiency and reduce maintenance. The Gerald R. Ford class carrier represents a major leap forward in terms of naval technology and capability. Its advanced features, such as the EMALS, advanced radar systems, and next-generation weapons, make it a formidable weapon in modern naval warfare. However, its high cost and technical challenges have also led to some criticism and controversy. Nonetheless, the Gerald R. Ford class carrier is a clear demonstration of the United States' continued commitment to maintaining its status as the world's preeminent naval power. The Gerald R. Ford class carrier is not just a symbol of American naval power, it is also a key strategic asset that is changing the game in naval warfare and projecting American influence around the world. With its advanced capabilities, the carrier can perform a wider range of missions than previous carriers, making it a valuable tool in both peacetime and war. One of the key advantages of the Gerald R. Ford class carrier is its ability to conduct tear defense and strike operations in a variety of environments. The carrier's advanced radar systems, combined with its ability to launch and recover a wide range of aircraft, 
make it a formidable force in air-to-air -air and air-to-ground combat. This allows the carrier to provide air support for ground troops, conduct air strikes against enemy targets, and engage in air defense operations to protect friendly forces. In addition to its combat capabilities, the carrier is also capable of performing a range of other missions, including humanitarian aid and disaster relief. The carrier's ability to deploy a large number of aircraft and personnel to disaster zones can be invaluable in providing critical supplies and support to affected areas. This was demonstrated in 2017, when the USS Gerald R. Ford was deployed to assist in relief efforts following Hurricane Irma and Hurricane Maria. Looking to the future, the Gerald R. Ford class carrier has the potential to play an even more significant role in naval warfare. One area where the carrier could make a major impact is in the use of unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs or drones. The carrier's large flight deck and advanced launch and recovery systems make it an ideal platform for operating drones, which could be used for a range of missions, from reconnaissance and surveillance to strike operations. Another potential role for the Gerald R. Ford class carrier is as a strategic tool for projecting American influence around the world. The carrier's ability to operate in multiple theaters of operation, combined with its advanced capabilities, make it a valuable asset for both deterrence and power projection. This was demonstrated in 2021, when the USS Gerald R. Ford was deployed to the South China Sea as part of a show of force against Chinese territorial claims in the region. However, the deployment of the carrier also highlights the potential risks and challenges associated with its use. In particular, the carrier's high cost and technical complexity make it a vulnerable target for enemy forces, and any conflict involving the carrier would likely result in significant casualties and damage. Additionally, the deployment of the carrier in sensitive regions such as the South China Sea could also exacerbate tensions and increase the risk of conflict. Despite these challenges, the Gerald R. Ford class carrier remains a key strategic asset for the United States Navy, providing unparalleled capabilities and flexibility in a rapidly changing global security environment. Its advanced technology and wide range of capabilities make it a valuable tool for a range of missions, from combat operations to disaster relief and its potential for future use as a platform for drones and a tool for projecting American influence only adds to its strategic value. While the Gerald R. Ford class carrier has many impressive features and capabilities, it has also faced criticism and controversy, particularly in regards to its cost and technical challenges. It is important to acknowledge these criticisms and offer a balanced assessment of the carrier's strengths and weaknesses. One of the most significant criticisms of the Gerald R. Ford class carrier is its cost. The carrier has been described as one of the most expensive weapon systems ever built, with an estimated cost of over $13 billion per ship. Critics argue that this high cost is unsustainable, particularly given the competing demands for defense spending in an era of budget constraints. In response to these concerns, the Navy has emphasized the long-term value of the carrier arguing that its advanced capabilities and flexibility justify the high cost. Additionally, the Navy has taken steps to address some of the technical challenges that have contributed to the cost of the carrier. For example, the carrier's advanced electromagnetic catapult system, which replaces the traditional steam-powered catapults used on previous carriers, has experienced some technical difficulties. However, the Navy has invested in research and development to address these challenges and improve the system's reliability. Another common criticism of the Gerald R. Ford class carrier is its vulnerability to new and emerging threats, such as hypersonic missiles and cyber attacks. Critics argue that the carrier's size and complexity make it a high-value target for enemy forces, and that the Navy has not adequately addressed these vulnerabilities. In response to these concerns, the Navy has emphasized the carrier's advanced defensive systems, including its advanced radar systems and anti-aircraft missiles, which are designed to protect against a range of threats. Additionally, the Navy has invested in research and development to improve the carrier's survivability. 
including the development of new technologies to counter hypersonic missiles and other advanced threats. While the Gerald Darford class carrier has faced some criticism and controversy, it remains a key strategic asset for the United States Navy. Its advanced capabilities and flexibility make it a valuable tool for a range of missions, and the Navy has taken steps to address some of the technical challenges and vulnerabilities associated with the carrier. However, the carrier's high cost and potential vulnerabilities highlight the need for careful planning and risk management in the deployment of this valuable asset. If you enjoy our video, please consider subscribing to our Gear Train channel for more content.